fell and we ended up having sex. Like that's not going to be sufficient. Right. So it's, intent is assumed at this mm -hmm. point. And so where you end up spending the bulk of your time here is the consent question. Right. And in one of the other videos, we kind of dig deep. We dug deep a little bit into coercion here. Right. But one of the other videos, we dig a little deeper into, you know, what is physical force, threat, intimidation, mm -hmm. coercion, the incapacity standard. We dug in it, dug deeper in that into one of the other ones. But that's where I find you spend the bulk of time in these investigations. It's right. rarely, it happens, but it's rare as it did sex occur. Right. And usually the parties are both saying, yeah, some type of sexual activity occurred, but it was consensual or mm -hmm. one party thought it was consensual. And, and the other thing I think with the intercourse cases that's fascinating is people forget that, or, or maybe they, I don't know, maybe they intentionally or unintentionally misappropriate value and weight to mm -hmm. uh, the issue of, can you do something consensually, then something non-consensual happens, right. and then you still do something consensually afterward? Yeah. And the answer is, well, sure you can. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes people are like, I was willing to do A and C, but mm -hmm. not B, right. and they had no permission for B. Mm -hmm. And so that 